<laughs> oh, he just yanked it off. Oh, 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 this is it. Oh, yeah. He's going to try to escape. Don't let him escape. So the skibbity toilet part 24. It's here, man. It's here. Before we start, before we start, who do you think is going to win? Team Astro or Team G-Man? Let me know in the comments, bro. I better see some cool fighting, bro. I better see some. I'm like, I'm not done with you, Pikachu. Come on, go attack, attack, attack. Oh yeah, I better see some fighting like that, bro. <laughs> so as you can tell, two different videos, we're gonna react to them all. Each of these videos are by their own YouTube channel, so I'm gonna shout them at the same time, so... Yeah. So shout out to the lead camera. Cool. I'll put the link in the description for you guys to check it out. But now you guys, I don't know what else to say. So let's go. Okay, first video. Skibbity Toilet 72, part two. Dude, this fight better be epic. It's a toilet versus a toilet, bro. You don't see that often. Come to think of it, saying that out loud, bro, I sound stupid. <laughs> Astro. G man, Astro, G man. No, he's talking to his little boyfriend. Sucks for you, you're gonna die, bro. Yep. He's like, oh no. <laughs> no one escapes justice. All right, let's see. This is where we got caught up. Oh! Oh shoot, dude! Oh, he can shoot a laser beam too. Yeah, his shield. Oh! No way he can dismantle it. Oh! And he got charged up from it. Oh no! Oh! Oh my God! I don't know, man. I don't know who's gonna win. Oh, it looks like Astro's gonna win. Oh. Oh, of course. Bruh, of course he needs help. Dude, oh my god. He's like, stop interfering. <laughs> oh, he got hit. Hey, you gotta do what you gotta do to win, man. Anything is fair in the, in the, in the street. Oh, he's bleeding. Oh. Hey, he's wearing that mask or helmet. <laughs> oh, he just yanked it off. Oh, 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 this is it. Oh. Dude. Bro's breaking the sound barrier. <laughs> oh my God, he's actually going crazy though. He ran away. Oh. He's using like a sonic move, bro. Hey, I remember seeing that in the fan made, bro. All right, well, he at least the uh, Astro is really fast. <gasps> Sneak move. Ooh. Dang, bro, the, the fact that he was able to sense that. Ooh. Give up, it's over for you. He say no. <laughs> What is that? Huh? Oh, it was a last attempt. Wait, what? Oh, God. Why are you giving him bullets? Oh. Oh, it was like a EMP blast, something like that. It's controlling him? Oh, goofy hat face. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, his evil laugh, bro. Oh, he actually got him! Oh no. Astro is gonna lose for sure. Dude, why is his face looking at me? He wasn't even looking at him. Oh, wait, what? What the? Who is you? Bro, this guy looks freaking bad. Oh. Oh. Wait, what? Oh, even the tiny speaker man pulled up. No way he's powerful. He saved him. Okay, now he's changing targets. What are, what are you gonna do, huh? Oh, Titan's about to pull up. Oh! Yeah! He's gonna try to escape. Don't let him escape. 
No! You, can, you guys can still follow him! Okay, Titan Speaker Man is following him. And he also pulled up. <coughs> he just ripped his hand. No, wait, is he taking the Astro? Oh, bro. This next fight is gonna be epic. Wait, what did he say? He said something. <laughs> wait, bro, I am way too excited for this. <laughs> There's so many stuff that's happening. Well, well, what did he say? For pleasure. For pleasure? Is that what he said? Nope. Oh my God, man. Oh my God. I love it. I love it. I'm still kind of bummed out that Astro didn't win because you know, I want him to be the new villain. He looks pretty cool. But hey, he survived, so it's a win, man. <laughs> All right, you already know. Analysis time. Okay, last video. New Astro Toilet. Skibbity Toilet 72, part two, all Easter egg analysis theory. <gasps> <laughs> Hello, Talk everyone. to me, cameraman. Elite cameraman here. What's up? Oh boy, I don't even know where to start. For real. <laughs> Today's episode was nuts. Mm -hmm. It's April Fool's Day, and many people oh, were yeah. thinking that Boom is just pulling a prank when he announced that the episode would be coming out today. Oh, but here we are I forgot today was April waiting. Fools. It truly was worth the wait because this episode really passed my expectations. Yeah, look Boom at that told face. told us it was going to be three minutes plus. But this episode was longer than four minutes and it came out only 11 days after the last episode. Everything from the battle between G-Man Toilet and the Astro Claw Toilet Astro to the Claw new toilet. crazy looking Astro Toilet and yeah, this guy. blowing It feels like he looks like he's from a different multiverse. Skibidi Toilet because of how strong the Astro Toilets are. And just to remind you, this is just the beginning. Until now, we have only seen three Astro Toilets in total. Yeah, the and UFO, God knows him and how the many there are in total. The three we saw might not even be close to the strongest Astro Toilets. But before we get into all the juicy stuff that happened in today's episode, the fact that he was make about sure to, win. to like this video and subscribe. Let's try to get to 69,000 <laughs> likes and 1.5 million subscribers because we are all there. Bro. Anyways, here we go. Bro was just Since flexing today's episode right is a part two, <laughs> it starts with the ending of episode 72 part one, where we saw the claw astro toilet arrive at yeah, the when scene. The daddy showed if up, you guys man, haven't seen my episode 72 part one analysis video in this scene, claw astro toilet speaks and says, you know the penalty for treason commander, no one escapes justice. And episode 72 part one ended right when G-Man was about to fire his lasers. Yeah. We start the new footage with no cuts and G-Man instantly starts firing Shoots. his lasers at the Claw Astro Toilet. But as we have seen from episode <laughs> DJ 70 guy. part one, where Claw Astro Toilet was shown for the first time, he can use his gravitational claws to stop projectiles, deflect them, and copy them. Mm -hmm. We'll get back to this because this power actually results in his downfall, <laughs> but we'll talk about this later in the video. Cameraman. Ate that While G-Man is shooting his lasers, Astro Claw Toilet does a shield formation to block the attack fully yeah. and utilizes his top claw to copy the laser ability to shoot it back. But <laughs> since he can only shoot one laser, the firepower is not that impressive and G-Man Toilet instantly blocks it with his new shield that he they smiles, probably stole man. from Titan Cameraman's technology and right when he blocks Bro does the Rizzler face once again. Rizzler he just can't face. stop Bro. This guy, this oh guy is a God. different breed when it comes to Rizzy faces. But seeing this, Honestly, yeah, Astro bro's trying to visit Toilet everyone. actually starts using powers that we didn't know existed. He pulls his claws back and three tentacles fly out of his claws to attack the shield itself. I don't know what he normally uses those tentacles for, but it cannot be good. It yeah. looked like the tentacles were electrocuting the shield to overpower it. Oh, to I thought it was charging it up. Completely. But in like reality, we see what Astro Toilet was trying to do a couple moments after. G-Man Toilet outsmarts Astro Toilet by rotating his jet engines 180 degrees to push himself backwards. Smart, smart. But he didn't do this fast enough since we literally see Astro Claw Toilet stealing the energy of the shield mm. and tripling his laser fire power. Seeing this, G-Man Toilet knows he has to take some extreme protective measures, so he decides to pull a crazy move and starts Ooh. using a helmet. That looks Bro sick. literally pulled it out as if he is Iron Man. Right after this, <laughs> they both start yeah, firing the lasers instantly. And if you do the math, G-Man is at an advantage here because his overall firing power is most likely double of Astro Claw Toilet, so we can actually see G-Man Toilet pushing Astro Toilet cloned lasers. But somehow, Astro Claw Toilet starts spinning his claws faster and faster to boost the power of his own lasers to push it ah. back. And we actually see G-Man Toilet struggling. We can't see his exact Three, four, impression five, six, because seven. of the face mask, but he starts shaking 
and it's clear that if the plane bomber toilets didn't come to his rescue just at the right time, he was going to lose the laser battle. No, for the real. But was able to outpower seven blasters, dude. Toilet flinch, but the second one literally annoys him so much that he stops the laser fight with a big boom and turns around to deal with the bomber toilets. He destroys <laughs> all of the bomber toilets in seconds, but this really was a mistake on his part because he put down his defenses just to deal with some bomber toilets that didn't even do that much damage. Yeah. I think after almost beating the laser battle, he Dang. underestimated G-Man toilet a lot. And that's what happens throughout the episode. G-Man's history of fights are all loses. So Astro Toilets probably think so lowly of him. After getting knocked down oh. by G-Man Toilets we, lasers oh, and getting anyway. actual damage, which we can see through his face scars that he just got, Astro Claw Toilet it starts looking bleeding. a lot more serious and says, enough games. Here uh -huh. you go. Listen to it yourself. Bro was just toying with him. This, Blood like, no, literally we're about to get dodges G-Man toilets lasers without any effort and dashes onto G-Man to start punching him with his claws. And G-Man has no <laughs> arms, so bro can't do anything about it. I'm going to be honest. I think this scene we are about Bro's to talk armless. about is actually the first time G-Man toilet felt helpless and hopeless. The punches that the claw Astro toilet threw felt like they were powerful, but the punches weren't all because the Astro Toilet starts pulling out G-Man Toilet's lasers and he throwing one of the them lasers. down alongside his face mask. I assume this was to grab his head just like the first leak that we saw, because right after this we actually get to see the scene that was shown in the first leak that everyone thought was a troll leak. But it looks like it really? was real, and it just looked weird because it wasn't rendered. People were also confused about the scales of the characters because of this scene, since the claw <laughs> looks so small. He's about a falcon punch him, bro. Boom, wanted me to show you guys an outside perspective of the characters and the real size Whoa. comparison, and mentioned that the sizes never change, and it was just the perspective. This oh. scene is exactly like what we thought, and it is a remake of what happened in episode 60. We also see the needle hand the Astro Claw Toilet had in episode 60. <laughs> Dude, the this quality also got means better that the though. See, looking back right now, more tools inside his claws, but we will never know for a while because of what happened later in the episode. But one thing is not clear: if this is to kill G-Man Toilet, why was he waiting? What was he waiting for? Yeah, a couple huh. seconds after Astro Claw Toilet puts his claw onto G-Man Toilet's head, this is weird because why did G-Man Toilet suddenly started screaming after a few seconds? <laughs> this wasn't like was a, a normal scream. This was a terrifying scream. It felt like Astro Toilet was doing something to G-Man Toilet's brain instead of just trying to kill him because I think he could have stabbed him ten times within those three seconds. Yeah. I don't know what the Astro Toilets are planning. But I think this he was, was just want to enjoy from the torture. Felt hopeless. His screams distorted the camera for five whole seconds. And me too, Rose bro. Face my while ears. screaming was truly something else. And with how terrified he was. He just starts using his lasers randomly <laughs> and actually hits the claw Astro Toilet. But it doesn't seem to hurt him because he was blocking it with his claw hands. After Claw Astro Toilet escapes G-Man Toilet's lasers, we can literally see G-Man Toilet tweaking. Bro was so tweaking. terrified that his face muscles were moving on its own. <laughs> While G-Man Toilet was trying spot the Astro Toilet, the Astro Toilet attacked him twice with his extremely fast attacks. Yeah, like that one fan made? himself and his sunglasses broke. But right before the third attack, he was able to open his shield. And this actually was a crazy move because Astro Toilet hitting the shield in extreme speeds actually hurt him a lot. It's like running into a wall, see bro. His burning and electricity <laughs> Self damage. And G Man doesn't wait a second before using his lasers. Look at his on face, all shot. Right before the Astro Toilet zooms out of the fight. But this is not the end. On the contrary, this is where G Man starts to see a pattern on the Astro Toilet's behavior. If you look back, G-Man didn't defend himself for two attacks, and Astro Toilet attacked the third time without thinking. But on the third oh. attack, G-Man opened his shield. He could have done this the first attack, but that might have made the Astro Toilet feel like he was losing the battle. Instead, G-Man clearly is playing the long game instead of winning the short blows. After the claw Astro Toilet disappears Smart. again, G-Man starts looking around again. But if I'm honest... I think this time it was intentional because we see the Astro Toilet coming up from behind. Yeah, G look at that toilet, smirk on his face. Two needles this time because he just wants to get done with the battle. The reason for this is most likely because he now understand he might actually get some damage, but I don't think he thinks he'll lose the battle. <laughs> right before the Astro Toilet attacks, if you freeze the frame, we can actually see G-Man Toilet stop tweaking and start smiling slightly. 
Bro like, already knew I what got happening. him. He was just acting here. Yeah. I'm gonna be honest with the other thing you'll do later in the episode. I think G-Man really has learned his lesson from his old fights, and he is not just attacking randomly, but actually thinking before he does stuff in battle. Yeah, bro this has really experience, is a crazy for sure. Improvement. Right before the Astro Claw toilet attacks, G-Man toilet instantly <laughs> turns back and starts using bro, his just... lasers right on bro, Astro that... toilet's face, leading him to get knocked back so that he can defend himself with his claws. After absorbing the laser energy, he once again uses it to counterattack. But this time, he uses energy balls to knock G-Man off. And unlike the G-Man toilet we are used to, we actually see a very serious-looking G-Man toilet probably planning his next move to take down the Astro Toilet for good. Yeah. Right at this scene, Astro Toilet starts speaking to G-Man Toilet once again and says, Give up, it's over for you. Here you go. Listen to it yourself. Right at this scene, Wait, Astro it Toilet didn't play starts it. speaking to G-Man <laughs> Toilet once again okay. and says, Give up, it's over for you. And in the subtitles, Boom put himself, it actually says, it's Jover for you. That was Jover? Goofy. Here you go. Listen to it yourself. Over for you. And why does it say Jover? After Astro Toilet says this, G-Man does a weird move. We see him pull out an energy ball from his core and make it attack Astro Toilet. But as you guys saw, he had a grin on his face right before, and this was all calculated. He used this energy ball knowing that the Astro Toilet would counter it by deflecting it. He knew it was so slow for it to do something, but from Astro Toilet's perspective, this was mostly a last resort from G-Man Toilet. Yeah, he was playing was him, man! Because it is not stable. But when Astro Gotta Toilet was weak. playing checkers, G-Man Toilet was playing 4D chess. Right <laughs> 4D before Astro chess. Toilet's deflects the energy ball, he says that's all, while being confused. Here you go. Listen to it yourself. Yeah, he's so unimpressed. Oh my god, this is actually loud. After G-Man Toilet gets attacked by his own energy ball and takes a little bit off damage, he instantly creates two more energy balls, but we but can instantly purple. see that they are different. They have some purple particles coming out of them. And it does look like the energy that Titan TV Man produces, which will be important later. When yeah, I'm I didn't want to say happened. that though, because it was After like a Astro long. After Astro Toilets shot. grabs the energy balls, he says pathetic to G Man Toilet without knowing what's coming. Here you go, listen to it yourself. <laughs> After this, suddenly G Man's energy balls that the Astro Toilet was happily holding explode. And we can clearly see that it's as if G-Man Toilet hacked Astro Toilet's hands, at least the ones that the energy Okay, so it wasn't on. an EMP because Before EMP was just shut it down. I need to explain what happened here. As you guys know, we saw this yellow purple energy before, and it was on episode 68 part 1. Wait, really? When one of the clone G-Man Toilets attacked Titan TV Man. This clearly means that this is the same energy. Oh. I think it is possible that the purple TV Man energy has the ability to control stuff just like how the TV man can use their TV beams. This results in G-Man controlling Astro Toilet's hands with the purple yellow energy ball energy. Wow. We literally see the Astro Toilet shocked, and I think at that moment he knew he messed up and got outplayed. G-Man Toilet starts using the hands against the Astro Toilet and makes Astro Toilet Good thing grab he didn't his own get head control and of the other it, hand. And blood literally turns to his own <laughs> self for a second. <laughs> he was about to squish the way he laughs is so freaky. He suddenly starts pulling out the needles to make Astro Toilet stab himself. And even though Astro Toilet manages to cut one of his arms before G-Man can do anything, the second arm stabs himself in the neck, causing him to fall down. But that's no! not all because he is still alive and he gets up with a broken body, scars, and with one arm left. And I hate to admit this, but this guy truly has dedication. If it was G-Man Toilet in his shoes, he would have dipped ten Ooh! minutes ago. After this... The POV camera looks back at G-Man Toilet. But he's looking at us. Him looking really freaky while opening up his lasers. I'ma be honest. I need to ask if the Astro Toilet did something his brain because the way he is looking is not looking very healthy. Bro went from Rizzler mode to the weird kid in class really fast. <laughs> That's After he a starts good shooting comparison. his lasers, the claw Astro Toilet can't do anything in class. but something incredible happens. Boom told us that a new strong character would appear and I did guess it would be an Astro Toilet, but bro... I did not expect something like this. Seriously, bro, a new this guy Astro looks so. Toilet appeared out of nowhere, and goddamn, he looks cool. Yeah, bro looks like he came from the future. I don't know what to call this new Astro Toilet. To be honest, some names that people were saying include Gas Mask Astro, Gas Astro Knight, 
Astro Emperor, Astro Boss, I Astro like Astro Titan, Knight. and many more. For now, I'll just call him Gas Mask Astro. Since no, he has Astro Knight! Mask. But if the community decides to use a different name, we'll go ahead with that. If you have any ideas on what we call this humongous dude, <laughs> let me know. After he arrives at the scene and blocks the attack with his crazy powerful shield, which I think is much more advanced compared to both normal Skibidis and the Alliance, he starts using his hand cannon and charging it up. He shoots the energy ball, which is a lot faster compared to G-Man's energy balls. It hits G-Man Toilet's shield and literally disables it while pushing G-Man Toilet back. This guy this must be powerful, power. powerful. It doesn't end here because instantly he starts charging it one more time and he can also use his shield at the same time. But while charging it up to kill G-Man Toilet, someone starts shooting the gas mask Astro and out of nowhere. It was a Titan Speaker we Man! Left, we see that it's Titan Speaker Man arriving at the scene. The gas mask Astro Toilet shoots the energy ball at Titan Speakerman, but he dodges the force, it instantly. Dude. At least he thinks he dodged it because this energy ball is so powerful that even though it explodes so far away from Titan <laughs> Speakerman, <laughs> Bro, it has the power to knock him off just from its explosion force. This new character is truly crazy, and right after defending himself, he gets a hold of the claw Astro Toilet and zooms out of the battlefield Dang. to save him. Bro is truly a menace to society. <laughs> but the episode doesn't end here because, as you guys know, G-Man Toilet is still there and the Titans have just arrived. Oh, Titan yeah. Titan Speaker Man gets kind of mad and Bro starts taking his anger out on G-Man Toilet <laughs> by using his core laser instantly to attack him. But G-Man Toilet opens his shields up to defend himself. And unlike the battle with the Astro Toilet, he looks like he was caught of guard and he is kind of scared, as he should be. Yeah, because three Titan of them, bro, are about to pull up. Nowhere to start using his TV beam on him but he closes his eyes to not be affected by it and escapes the scene right before Titan TV Man can cut him off. Oh, he and got Titan lucky, TV lucky. Man says this asshole will die today. But for some reason in the subtitles, it says he will not escape this time, probably because Boom wants to keep the subtitles PG. Ah. And right after this, he also says, are you ready, bro? According to the subtitles. But if you listen to it in reverse, you'll clearly hear that he surely does not say bro at the end, but instead drops a B bomb and says, Are you ready, B? Whoa! You Here you go. <laughs> okay, listen to I gotta it yourself hear this. in reverse. What? That's. <laughs> After this, one of the coolest moments in the series happen, and we see the Titan cameraman pull out his hand to change it with one of Astro Toilet's claws, yeah. which will make him crazy overpowered, if you ask me, and will actually give an Look advantage against all the toilet races. But that's not the important part, because right at the end of the episode, he speaks for the first time and says, For plunger. Plunger, not pleasure. That okay. line does right. go hard with all the context, and just like Titan cameraman, you should like and subscribe for plunger. Elite cameraman out. Bye.